We have two of the leading interfaith uh, organizational leaders on our podium today, uh, but one from a particular tradition has been very active. One, uh, the Reverend, uh, the, ve the, the I'm sorry, the Venerable uh, Chung Lok Lee, uh, who is uh, represents the one uh, Buddhist International here at the United Nations, uh, and I have had the pr pleasure of seeing her speak at the Parliament of uh, World Religions and other major interfaith forums as well as having seen her inspire people in Seoul, Korea. Venerable Chung Ak Lee, please. We are deeply grateful to the mission of the Philippines and the Global Security Institute for bringing us together today. Every life is precious and must be protected. Thus, working with you to end the threat posed by nuclear weapon is our commitment. Our action can destroy or honor the interconnected web of life and thus destiny of all sentient beings. Our actions are not only impact ourselves and nations of today, but also future generations. Never before has such a responsibility to act with a moral and ethical insight been greater. Buddhist ethics emphasize the importance of a non-harming. This means cultivating a non-harming attitude toward oneself, others, and all living beings. It means being compassionate, gentle, considerate, and respectable toward oneself and others. In Buddhist ethics, to not hurt others in ways you would find hurtful is fundamental. Nuclear weapons offend this value. To unleash the dis dis destructive capacity of a nuclear bomb anywhere would be terrible moral ethical and spiritual consequences we must face. The adverse impact of victims would be horrible beyond word. In some, one can hardly imagine an action more offensive to Buddhist morality than the use of a nuclear weapon. Fear and overarching desire to protect something we have created, the state, have been driven the creation of today's arsenals, which add up to more than 17,000 nuclear weapons. Their stated purpose is to help obtain security. We see a deep paradox here. The more perfected the, the weapon, the less security is obtained. The more we modernize the weapon, the more attractive they become. The more stage with the weapon, the more danger we all face. In Buddhist ethic, ethics, protecting innocent lives is a high value. Nuclear weapons offend this value. According to Buddhist understanding, everyone and everything in the world are deeply interconnected and interdependent. Thus, each one of us has an important responsibility to take care of our world. Therefore, it is critical to invite the active role of women. If we fully incorporate women's gifts, talent on behalf of a human population, we may find a new approach to tackle new nuclear weapons. In addition, we have an obligation to cultivate and create the culture of peace instead of cultural violence and war. The culture of peace is a set of values, attitudes, modes of behavior, and the ways of life that reject violence and prevent the conflict by tackling their root causes to solve problems through dialogue and negotiation among individuals groups, and nations. 
We reject nuclear weapons based on the ultimate Buddhist ethics of nonviolence and protection of all living beings. Secretary General Ban Ki moon described this issue so well. There are no right hands for wrong weapons. We pledge to work together with all people of goodwill to obtain this moral imperative. Nuclear weapons are immoral. Let us work together to rid the world of all of them. Thank you.